Minasan, welcome to my channel. Gamero Bundes, Yoroshiku Onegashimasu. And the time has come. Finally, we are at the end or ends of our journey. During this video, we will cover some of the ending. Hollow Knight has different ending and some unfortunately are missable. And in our journey until here, we did miss a couple of them. The fact is that to see all the endings, you will need at least two walkthrough. And given the fact that Hollow Knight doesn't have a new game plus, make the second walkthrough a bit more demanding and time consuming. However, without further ado, let's get going. Alright, let's bring up our map. And as you can see, we left a few golden pin for post-game content, which are the Path of Pain, the Colosseum, and others. But our target is here, our very final boss. And there is where we are going. For the post-game content, we will cover it in a future video. Our dear friend is not so far, he's just a bit up ahead, so it will be very quick to reach it. And here we are, at the Black Egg Temple. And now we broke all the seal, also Hornet is here. Let me just do a break here a moment. The fact that Hornet is here, it means that we lost one variation of one ending. Essentially there are two main endings, the bad ending and the good ending. Now for the bad ending, in which you will see it very soon, there are two versions, one in which Hornet is here and one in which Hornet is not here. Since we acquired the Void Heart, we will take the version of the bad ending with Hornet, which is called Sealed Siblings. While the first version, called the Hollow Knight, it should have been done before acquiring the Void Heart and having or not having the King Soul. So basically you just come here and defeat the boss without acquiring the Void Heart. But for us now, let's resume our journey. And here it goes, it is broken. And there is someone quite hungry inside there. Yep. And of course, if you don't have the Void Art, you will not have neither this short dialogue with Hornet. Which, as she is mentioning, she may or may not come to aid us into the battle. Hakana Sagamos. Which the fact of having Hornet, it allow us to have the choice between the bad and the good ending. Hakana so in the case Sagamos. you don't have Hornet and you come here to face the boss alone, you will not have that choice and you will be able only to do the bad ending. Let's get inside this huge place or huge corridor. Essentially there is nothing to do here beside a boss fight. So no problem at all and there is also a bench in which we can rest and recharge our soul and this is simply tell us about the ending and about our current state and from now on we are able to see the percentage of completion in the inventory which as you might already know the full completion is 112 percent 
and apparently our right now is 106 percent that's because we haven't complete yet the Colosseum and some other post-game content but let's go whoa <laughs> he's looking at us he's chain in there is looking at us while we're moving he is so cool and that is the hollow knight we cannot do anything to him at all because he's been sealed in there the only thing that we can do is of course by our own choice breaking the seal and let him free now for break the seal you need to break all this chain and he keep looking at us I'm not sure if he's happy or concerned by the fact that we are breaking the chains okay one left there you go and for the rest he can break on his own and there it is the hollow knight okay first off let's get a taste of him he does this dashing attack shouting around and fighting like a true knight ah, he got also this spitting from the stomach thingy and he killed us okay now let's set up our charm because we had the exploration charms let's put unbreakable strength quick slash and mark of pride and for the remaining two maybe lifeblood heart so we can have some extra mask for us and now let's do it Oops, we almost forgot our anima and as you can see it doesn't fight back in here now to be honest with you this fight is not challenging at all also because spoiler alert this is not the real final boss and once you have your fighting charm set up I don't even care about dodging he is very very weak and now he is hitting himself in pain But as you can see, very soon something will happen. Which is right now. There, Hornet arrived. Now let's make a small break. This right here is the moment of choice. As you can see, Hornet has his mask impaled and there is some essence coming out. So, if you want to do the first ending, the bad ending, you keep smashing him until he dies he will shake off hornet fight a bit more and then he will die and that is the bad ending if you want a good ending while hornet is holding him you need to use the dream nail get inside him and do the real boss fight for this time around we will look first at the bad ending so let's kick his ass and as you can see, he shake off Hornet and she is there in the floor unconscious. Now let's continue this fight and it's done. And now we will face the first ending. At this point, like we did with the Dreamers, we need to suck inside ourselves all the corruption. basically he will die and
and this is how the first ending let's call it version b is as you can see we became the new hollow knight sealed inside the black egg to contain the infection and as you notice when the egg got closed there was the mask of fornet as a seal and both of us were sealed inside now in the other version without hornet the ending will be exactly the same we will not have the camera looking at hornet pass it out on the floor inside the egg but we will be alone the egg will close and there will not be the mark of hornet on the egg itself and that's it this is it for the bad ending now let's run very quickly through the credits which are not very long for a good indie company just an amazing small number of people that have done a fantastic game and we get our congratulations now we can just click our button and go back to the main menu where we can reload our file which was just before the fight and that is what we're going to do now we reload our file and we are back here at the boss and now we will do exactly the second part and we will take full advantage of Hornet help. There is also one thing to consider. Do not care about how much health you lose in this fight with the Hollow Knight. As soon as the new fight starts you will be completely killed. But what is important is that before the new fight, you fill up all your soul. Because the soul will not be filled up when the new fight starts. And here come our pal Hormen. Now, let's use the Dream Nail. And let's go inside and meet a special foe. And here you have the chance to challenge it. And that sun is it. The radiance. Let's check this out. Okay, this one you can dash through with the shadow cloth. Careful to these swords falling. Try to fit on the larger space between the swords. Okay, basically don't do what I am doing. <laughs> this is the first time that I face it. Okay, let's make it good. First off, let's update our configuration. And I want to put the Grim Child so it can fight with us while we are dodging her attacks. And for the last three, we put Life Blood back and the Tones of Agony. So let's go back and deal with it once and forever. Okay, let's just rush this up. Having the green child there and hitting the enemy while we do our own business, especially avoiding the attacks, is a big help.
as I mentioned, we don't care about our health since it will be fully recovered. And here come Hornet. Yeah, let's get in. Okay, Radiance. Time for a bit of it. So, just stay on her, avoid the blade, not as I did, but properly. These are easily dodge. Remember that this one you can dodge it with the shadow throw. And now we are getting on the second part. Just keep harming her until she falls. Use this time to heal up. And now we enter in the second phase of the fight. Heal up all the way. When we reach the next platform, she will appear here. So keep smashing. Keep going. Don't care. Now try to get her. Okay, we're already in the third side, which is the climb. We need to climb while avoiding that laser beam, which is very easy. Once we reach the top, she will be there and we just need to give her one hit. And that's it. Now we are about there. Here she is. Ouch. Just one hit. And now, for our joy, while the Hollow Knight keep her open, and we get our Shadow Form, we just beat the shit out of her, and keep attacking and slapping her without mercy. And that's it. Now, let's enjoy the good ending. this ending the Hollow Knight complete his duty and so the Hollow Knights do not have any more the curse of containing the radiance between them to seal the infection but rather we defeated and so although the Hollow Knight disappear this allowed all the sibling to not face the same fate and finally go back to rest and dream no more yeah I know as I said it uh, it sounds like a very sad and bad ending but it's actually the true ending or good ending of the game now let's load back our game as we are going to do an extra step on our endings now there is a special secret extra ending or actually is something to be add to old endings 
and for do that we need to go here and trick a small quest with Mr. Mushroom. This special quest is related to unlock and trick some dialogue with a very special character which is Mr. Mushroom. Once we complete the quest it will unlock for us an extra ending sequence that will be available after every ending. Now, just for uh, a bit of uh, lore, Mr. Mushroom, especially the first dialogue, is likely a reference to the Team Cherry entry game Hungry Nights, which is where the first three used the character that after became the Hollow Knight. And in the game, the player had to keep feeding on cherry dropped by the enemies and kill bosses. And the player was doing this in order to resurrect a friend. Also interesting the fact that the enemy and also the icon were similarly to the mask of the slippers. A true reference of heritage of Hollow Knight. Therefore, it's very interesting to do it. First thing first, we need to go to the Kingdom Edge and find a tablet, a secret tablet that will allow us to initiate the quest. So let's warp right there. And here we are at the very lower right corner of the Kingdom Edge. And in here there should be a secret passage that allow us to reach our target. Oh, here it is. Let's go inside on this secret area. Okay, you know we can drop down. Interesting also the fact that this area will not be mapped out. And there is also a very good amount of gears that we can gather in this area. Especially at the very end. Here we see. Now we have another drop here. A big one. And this is a special drop. Remember this part. Because it's where the tablet is. But first off, we will go down furthermore to explore the food area. And get all the gears. Deeper and deeper inside. As you can see when I'm healing, I'm uh, speeding out those spores. And it is very important to remember because for this quest you need to keep equipped the Spore Shroom charm. Without it we will not be able to read the tablet as well as we will not be able to speak with Mr. Mushroom. And here at the bottom of this area, the very bottom, we find this huge amount of gales the biggest mine in the game and the area is completed now what we need to do is go back where I mentioned before and open the passage to the tablet now we're going where I said before to remember about this area that was this drop here and up on this drop, especially on this point, there is the secret passage. So let's break it up. And you can already hear the voices. And now with the sports room, we can read the tablet. And this will give us hints on the seven location in which the Mr. Mushroom will be. And we need to find him and speak with him on the same order that is brought here on the tablet. Of course, here in the tablet is a bit of a riddle, so you need to decipher the riddle and find Mr. Marshall. 
But I got you covered and just follow the video and now we will see all the location one by one. Our first target is the fungal waste. And it's just below here. It's basically where our map guy Cornifer was before. And you can hear that when we get closer, you can hear him chatting. There he is, Mr. Mushroom. You need to hit him so he will turn around and now we can chat with him. Again, remember to equip the spore shroom, otherwise it will be gibberish and you cannot understand what he says. After the dialogue, you need to trick it twice and he will disappear. If you use the dream nail, you have a special dialogue, which is repeated on all the location. And also, very interesting thing is that, although he's not here, you can still nail jump him, which is very cool if you ask me. Our second location is the Kingdom Edge. And our dear friend is just above here. You can hear him chatting. And there he is. And it's gone. As you can see, this dialogue will always be the same across all the locations. Now, let's go to the next one. This time, Mr. Mushroom is on the deep nest and is where we fought Galleon. Just above here. If they allow us to reach it, he will be just beside Galleon. Here is Galleon and here we can hear him. All right, and now we're up for the next one. And this time, Mr. Mushroom is at the Holling Cliff. Staying just beside Master Mato. Hello Mato. And here he is. We are almost there. Three more left. This time we are in the ancient basin and right after where we fought the lost king, here he is, we can find Mr. Mushroom. Now you can hear him down, down here. Yeah, here it is. Perfect. Apt 
to the next. And our new target now is the Fog Canyon. Just a bit ahead here. And it will be just below here. Past this wall, and here it is. Hi, Mr. Mushroom. And now we have just one location left, so let's get there. And Mr. Mushroom, last location will be the King's Pass, which is where it all started. Hey! Now notice that this time, the very last dialogue, it will be a bit different. Yeah, we've been following you. There's a lot to say. Until the next time. And now we decide to become Neo and fly away. And that's it guys. Everything's done. As you can see, Grim Nails doesn't work anymore and neither Nail Jump. But now that this is complete, we can go back to the final boss and see the extra ending. Now, it doesn't really matter which ending you will do. This extra sequence will appear at the end of every ending. And for our video, we will just do the bad ending since it's also the quickest one to be done. So let's just very quickly kick the ass of the Hollow Knight. Actually, he's putting up a fight now. Okay. Better heal up a bit. Let's keep hitting him. Come on. Okay, here come Hornet. But for us, we will just keep beating him until he dies. Come on. And there it is. And now, after the standard ending and the game credits, there will be the additional extra sequence that we work so hard for it. So let's jump right at the end of the credits. And we are finally here. Once we click the button, the extra sequence will start. with our Neo Mushroom. To be continued. Cool, very cool. And here we have our game competition summary and we still have that 6% that we will need to do. Wonderful guys, so we did pretty much everything. The only things left are post-game stuff, which are definitely the Colosseum, 
we need to finish that we have the pot of pain good luck with that what else we extra challenge with a white knight we can definitely do that extra challenge with great prince Zote. also that can be done and this is very important the god home because this will unlock another two additional ending and that's it that is all the post content left and uh, we never sold any of these we are keeping everything just for collection and we are at the end minna-san our journey with hollow knight is finished so what do you think use the comment section below leave a comment and let me know if you would like to see also the post game content and i will be happy to work on it and publish it on this collection thank you very much for staying with me until the end i really hope you liked this video if that was the case please smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notifications so you're informed when new videos are available also please remember to follow me on my twitch channel on the description below you can find the link of my live schedule so come and join me live and let's have a blast together once again thank you very much for staying with me Game of Your Boon out and looking forward to see you on my next video or live in Twitch. Minasan, Jana, 